next up I'm going to say file open and we're going to look at um, creating black and white images now. Now this, I love this feature because in the old days, which in computer, in computer terms is six months ago, we were still making images black and white using two methods, converting its native uh, thing, its native color um, to grayscale, yeah, and then yeah. having to accept that that's exactly, or using desaturate. It still remains a color image, but obviously the color is being run out of it, like desaturate, squeezing the color out of the sponge sort of thing. But it's still a color image. Now. That would mean you'd have to go into curves or levels afterwards and start to play and try to make it look interesting and then you've got to go and do a photography course that you can understand how, how red filters work and you start to play in the channels to really try to create infrared effects and other things. So it's quite a mission to, to just get a really good black and white image out of Photoshop. Not anymore. I can very, very proudly show you <laughs> a lively um, effect. I'm going to show you using something called the canoe. The one. Uh, 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 uh. The, the what? The canoe. No, the filter's not called the canoe. The, the image I'm going to show you is called oh, the canoe. Yeah. <laughs> the new black and white effect called canoe. Yeah. <laughs> Very intuitive. <laughs> okay. Um, best, of course, when you're applying an effect, like an adjustment, uh, applying an effect, under adjustments you'll find black and white now, but again, to keep the work from being destructive, we're going to always apply it on, a, on an adjustment layer. And maybe you haven't done it in the past, but this will definitely help you if you haven't tried it until now. So black and white is where all of the other adjustment layer options are, still under the adjustments section, but to be non-destructive, I'm going to rather add it as an extra layer that I can edit. So I go to black and white, and Already, even the default black and white setting looks better than a straight grayscale gray or desaturate. Okay? And I don't even have to have a qualification in photography to be able to now add blue or green filters or a red filter or infrared. I can just test those and tweak as I want to. So immediately you, you're able to make brilliant black and white photos. Now, if you do have a little bit of a an insight to create a good black and white images, you can go straight to custom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to darken the sky. Look how dramatic that's becoming. It looks a little bit on my screen because it's just the contrast is a little nicer. And I'm going to increase the yellows and the greens to really pick up the landscape around there. Okay. And I'm going to cancel this actually because I'm going to first of all I'm going to first of all just apply the default black and white and just say OK and then I'm going to come back and do black and white again on top of that so we can compare the default to the new one because I was, when I switch preview on and off it just shows me color to black and white. Okay, So I'm going to go back in here, double click, that's what I love about this tool, go down to custom and I'm going to do exactly the same thing, darken the sky by dragging blues down and it's really easy because the bushes are green increase the green. This yeah, guy is blue. Yeah, yeah. I love that. It's not, you know, it's weird percentages and lines and grids with numbers that you can't understand. It's actually, it's quite easy to just drag things around. It's just, yeah, not, not so tough. So I say increase the greens and the yellows to make that a little bit more dramatic. I've probably overdone it, but it's also fine. And then I can see what I've done to that image. Isn't that stunning? It's really moody, isn't it? So you're going to have lots of fun with, with black and white. Um, I'm going to just zip you through the others quickly. Blue filter, green filter, which I also love. Compare that to the normal. Just adds a slight mood to it. High contrast red, also very dramatic. Can just see. I can just you can't see. Increase the intensity of the filter. Can you? Um, you can probably apply it on top of itself, I guess, with a, another adjustment layer with the same. We can try that. Yeah, high contrast red, infrared is basically what we did with the um, with what I showed you earlier. It was my first one. Maximum black, maximum white. You can really see these for fashion fashion shots. You know, I think that would look really nice in a bright white sky. Neutral density, red filter, also quite moody, yellow filter, can't see too much, and then custom is what we had before. OK, 
כן.